your hard fought performance like that? You know, obviously, uh, good emotions, good vibes. Uh, the fight wasn't easy, but I'm, I feel like I dominated. Um, sucks I couldn't get the, the finish. I wanted a performance bonus, but I feel like this guy is unfinishable. He's, uh, he's so tough, so uh, I can't really complain. I hit him, I dropped him a few times, I think. I took him down, outstruck him. Um, I did everything that was in my control uh, during the fight, during camp. Uh, so I'm feeling good. You say he was unfinishable in there. When you're, as you say, when you're dominating him in there, is there moments in there where you're just like, what else do I need to do to put this guy away? Yeah, you know, um, I studied him for the fight, so I knew, you know, he was coming in 10-1. and one. Uh, He did get finished in that one loss, but it was, it took so much. You know, I feel like uh, you got to, it's like pretty much, you know, He's, he's tough, he's so durable. I don't want to go out there and just rush it, waste all my energy. Again, on a guy that got hit so hard in so many fights and he didn't get finished. Did you notice when the doctor was checking on his foot going into that round, if he was like pressing on it and everything? Even the, the commentary seemed confused that they would they would do that. They pressed on his foot? Because it looked swollen, so they wanted to go, does this hurt? And they were like, Yeah, his foot was a balloon. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't know. I wasn't looking too much. I saw it was swollen. I did check his kicks. Again, I was preparing for him. I knew he was going to throw some hard leg kicks. And when you throw your foot really hard towards the shin bone, that can happen. Uh, unrelated to this fight, I know you re you represent Israel and everything like that. There's obviously been a lot of talk in the mainstream news with what Kanye West has been saying and Kyrie Irving has been saying. So as an athlete from Israel, what, what do you make of everything that's happening in this country right now in the media? Yeah, you know, I think life is uh, too short to hate. So uh, to all these hateful people, you know, um, sucks for you, I pity you. Um, and other than that, you know, Kanye West, if you got a problem with me or my people, come see me, bro. Have you, know, has, have you noticed kind of like when he, when he starts saying all of these things, I feel like a lot of people on Twitter, there's this big rise and now they think they can also say it because Kanye is saying it. Have you noticed that too? And trust me, I've noticed it. I get a lot of uh, lovely DMs all the time. Uh, I am Jewish, it's what I am, it's what I was born. Uh, I'm very proud of it and I will fight for it. I will fight for my people in the octagon or wherever need be. Um, and I will not stand for anti-Semitism. I won't stand for any racism, not around me. Don't bully anybody around me or I'm gonna find you. Any other questions? Thank you. Thank you. Great to see him has wins over some of the best fighters in the world. And he has the ability to keep going in the right direction with a big victory tonight. All right, you're looking live at Michael Johnson in the inspection zone. Former Central Methodist University football player. This is his sixth fight back at lightweight Michael after a two and two run at 145 pounds. Could very easily be riding a two fight winning streak. A lot of people felt like he should have gotten the nod against J.D. Malarkey back in July. But big picture, MJ's had a lot of adversity throughout his career. Happy to be starting three times here in 2022. Listen, it's been a, wrong, a long road for this man. You know, started with the company in 2010, I believe. Yeah. 12 years, he's learned a lot. He's had extreme highs, extreme lows. He, he knows what it feels like to lose fights and people turn their back on it. But now, you know, this man's still going strong. All right, we are ready to go with this lightweight thriller between the 36-year-old Michael Johnson and and the 29-year-old Doncaster England native Mark Jim Casey. Both fighters 5'10 inches tall. Both fighters successfully making weight. Johnson and their 3-1 underdog will have a reach advantage of half an inch. All right, now for the introductions. Back inside of her spot. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a freestyle fighter holding a professional record, 16 wins, five losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of the blue corner. 